Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Both Barrels. I am Byrne, this is my father Curtis, and we have a rather unique drink today. It's a Scandinavian beverage, and it's called uh, Linea Aquavit, I believe. Yeah, it's an, a really interesting beverage. It's considered an aperitif, okay. which is something that you would drink to prepare yourself for a meal, where a, a digestive is something that you would drink after a meal. Not a high alcohol content, but a really interesting flavor. And I have noticed that it really does a great job of preparing the palate for a meal. It smells really great, it tastes really great. It's, uh, it's made from potatoes, and then uh, it is put into barrels. I've been told that people in uh, Scandinavia will have a party and will get a, one of those old horns fill it up with this and pass it around before the dinner and everybody takes a sip. On the nose, it has a very uh, herbaceous kind of scent to it. It reminds me a little bit of, uh, a little bit of absinthe. Star, star anise. Star, star anise, anise and, yeah. and I think caraway. Yeah. I, I, I mean, they have a secret recipe and I don't know what in it, but I, I really get that. And, and they say to serve it warm, but I kind of like it with a little bit of a chill on it. Now, a friend of ours, a friend of the show, Eddie, he tried it and he said, well, it sort of has a medicine flavor. Yeah, but not really. It isn't. It's all those herbs that are in there that are, that are attacking your palate and it really, it really soothes my digestive system when, when, I, when I do it. And I, I really feel it does prepare me for a big meal. I like it a lot and uh, I've been enjoying it a lot. As you can tell. Yeah. We haven't done a both barrels in a while and somebody asked us, well, why? And the reason is, is you wanted to get uh, a Tagaharta. What, what kind of inspired us to get this is we've recently been building these instruments that are actually Norwegian, they're Scandinavian, they're called uh, Tagalharpas. They're very interesting, kind of weird, they have a haunting sound. And we didn't string this one quite right. You're actually supposed to put the heaviest string in the center and it acts as a drone, but as is, it has a unique, it's it's a unique, very weird vocal kind of a sound that it makes. We've been working on building a few of these these past several weeks. Um, this is the first one that we did. We uh, might try to show off some of the other ones that we've built in a later episode. Um, but the, one of our inspirations to try this here was that we wanted to try to find a liqueur that was uh, Scandinavian. Scandinavian. We actually yeah. were looking for a whiskey from Scandinavia, but we couldn't really find anything that was available in Iowa. To us, yeah. No, to us, anyway. But this, this has, I think because of the being put in barrels, there is an essence of a whiskey in there. I mean, there is no, it's, it's, it's potatoes, so it's not grain, it's not so it grain. is not whiskey. But I think the barrels bring some of that essence that you, you normally would taste in a whiskey. The complexity of the herbs is really fun, and I, I, I think people should give this a, sh a shot. I've never tasted anything like it prior to this. It, it is medicinal, but in a very pleasing way. There's a lot of different aperitifs. An old-fashioned is considered an aperitif. It's something to prepare your, your palate for a, a coming meal. There's a lot of different ones. A lot of the digestives uh, that I've had are very, very heavy in that licorice flavor, which I'm not fond of. So I'm not really happy with very many of the digestives I've had, but this I like. Well, everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. As always, thank you for watching. I'm gonna play a little bit more of this, I think. Mm -hmm. It's still really hard for me to play, actually. Never mind. Never mind.